The last time we ran this, I only managed to achieve 49 miles per hour, which was a little bit disappointing. Now, today I'm going to be fitting a 17 tooth pinion, which is hopefully going to give us that 50 mile per hour top speed. If you're just starting out in the hobby and you've picked this truck as your very first model, that is great. But we do have to be careful when we do speed tests and when we start playing with the gearing because we're essentially pulling a lot more power from the electronics. Uh, that can cause all sorts of heat issues. It can cause the system to shut down. If you're ever unsure, always go back to the manual. Uh, there is a section in the manual as well telling you which gearing to run depending on how much speed you want to achieve and as always you must be careful. There are always risks involved when doing speed tests so just bear that in mind. So let's fit the 17 tooth pinion and then we'll get it out and see how it performs. Right, let's do this then. Let's see if we can achieve that 50 mile per hour top speed using the 17 tooth pinion. Oh, this thing is an animal. I say that every time I get it out. I know this thing has got 50 plus potential. And I think we're going to see that, that speed today. What I love about the Skeeter is it's so stable. Being quite a heavy one temp scale truck. It's very stable at speed. Right, we'll do a couple more passes and then we'll bring it back and we'll see if we hit 50 or more. Okay, so let's see what speed we achieved. Yes, 52 miles per hour. That is exactly what we want to see. There we go then guys, we finally managed to achieve 50 plus miles per hour out of the Team Corelli Skeeter on 4S. The only change made here is the 17 tooth pinion. Uh, now if you are just starting out, I do want to say again, please just be careful because when you go up with the gearing, you are increasing heat, you are increasing demand on the electronics, which can start to cause problems. So if you are just starting out, please consider this. Now for most people, I think the stock gearing is going to be absolutely fine. Uh, it is a little bit undergeared for my liking uh, and I noticed that when I was doing jumps it didn't feel like there was enough power left uh, to help level out the truck itself. Now going up a little bit with the gearing, you know, potentially a 15 tooth, 16 tooth, something like that will probably be the best bet for everyday use. But again, if you're an absolute beginner, just stick to the stock gearing. I'm very interested to hear what you guys make of the Team Corali Skeeter and Team Corali in general. Now, I think this is a really good solid platform. Uh, it's certainly upgradable as well. It's got loads of 1 8 scale components, a real solid truck, and it's one of the best 4S machines out there. Now you may disagree with that and feel free to drop a comment down below. There's certainly a little bit of Team Corelli hate out there at the moment. And I think that is thanks to some of the larger channels who are being a little bit unfair to Team Corelli because we need to remember they've only really been doing the bashing stuff for the past couple of years. It may even be three years, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's two years though they've been into the bashing stuff 
and I think they're doing really well to keep up with the likes of Traxxas and Armour. So we do need to give Team Corrali credit and I think they've done really well with the Skeeter. So we're going to leave the video there today. There'll probably be one more video before I take a short break because I am going to be moving house soon, which will mean things do need to slow down a little bit on the channel to make that process as easy as possible. But don't worry, I'll be back very soon. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.